Hi, I'm Will Fly, and in this video I want to tell you about guitar harmonics. When you pick a note on a guitar, you aren't just playing one note. You're playing a note and all the overtones of that note. So if I play the G string on my guitar, I'm playing a basic G note, but I'm also playing some overtones. There's the G note. There are overtones at the 12th fret, at the 7th fret, at the 5th fret, and the 17th fret, and so on. And all those overtones and the basic note of the string combine to produce the note that you hear. Now, if I stop the actual string and allow the overtones to come out, that's when you hear the harmonics. So if I play a G note, G at the 12th fret sounds like this. If I just rest my finger on top of that string and then play it and take the finger off, I stop the note but you'll hear the overtone. That's the harmonic. That's the natural harmonic of the 12th fret. Here's a natural harmonic at the 7th fret on the G string. And here's a natural harmonic on the G string at the 5th fret. So, let's take a look at these things in close-up. So, here's the harmonic at the 12th fret, it's a high G. Here's the harmonic at the 7th fret, it's a higher D. Here's the harmonic at the 5th fret, it's a high G. So here's the harmonic on the G string at the 12th, 7th and 5th frets. And here are the harmonics on the D string at the 12th, 7th and 5th frets. And the notes on the D string are a D, a higher A and a very high D. So you can actually tune your guitar by using harmonics. And the basic rule is that a harmonic on the 5th fret, say on the D string, is the same as the harmonic on the 7th fret on the next string up, on the G string. 5th on the D, 7th on the G. And here it is in close-up. Note that you can't do this with the B and G strings because they aren't tuned the same as the rest of the notes on the guitar. So if you get one basic note on the guitar, say you've got your A tuned to concert pitch, you can tune all the other strings virtually. By using harmonics. What we've looked at so far are natural harmonics played with two hands. Okay, you put one hand on the fret and play the harmonic by plucking it with the other hand. It's also possible to play these harmonics with one hand, with your finger and thumb. What you do 
place your finger just on the string, like the fret where you want to sound the harmonic, and then you play it with the thumb while taking the finger off. And let's see that in, in close up. So far we've looked at what we call natural harmonics. What we're going to look at now are artificial harmonics that don't rely on the open strings. And you make use of the finger and thumb technique with the one hand to play the harmonic. The fretting hand plays a chord, so let's play the chord of C. Now what you've got to do now here to play this chord on harmonics is to use the finger and thumb technique, but to play the notes up here exactly 12 frets above the shape of the chord. So if you've got a chord of C, you're playing the first string, second string, third string, fourth string, let's look at that in close-up. It's possible to use this technique to play a whole melody, so what I'm going to do now is to show you how freight train is played in close-up using harmonics. Well, you can see that harmonics were a very useful thing to add to your repertoire if you're a guitarist. I hope you found the video useful and that you're able to incorporate uh, some harmonics into your own playing now and then. Bye-bye.